Okay, for this video, I'm going to go over Chapter 4, Assignments 3, and maybe 4, depending on how long it takes to get through these. So, looking at this here, they're looking for these different pipe lengths. So, <clears throat> first one is that they're looking for is A, which this guy down here and they give that to you what's the length of A it's right there 26 inches or 2 foot 2 inches and then they, they're going to want you know I imagine it's good to get in the habit of <coughs> labeling these properly so I think I got it there I'll just rewrite this here you know, it's a lot to look at I got a lot of scribble there so a is two foot two inches, center of elbow, uh, center of sixty degree elbow. And that's given information. So B and E. Again, we talked about in the last video equal spread offsets means that they're equal lengths so for this one here you need to use that figure 4-5 on is it figure 4-5 on page 67 in the text and it'll show you what what constants to use for that and for this one here we're we're trying to find see B and E. So we want to find the travel. And for the travel, the constant for that when we have the offset, which we know is 26, multiply that by 1.155, excuse me. And in the book, they show an example of uh, multiplying something by 1.16, and it'll throw your numbers off a little bit, but don't get hung up on that. It's, it's all good. It'll all be close, so. Um, anyhow, I just want to point that out because I saw that in the book, and it, it did make it a little different, so. Anyhow, when you multiply that out, you're 26, excuse me, your offset times that constant will give you your travel center to center which is two foot six so B and E equals two foot six inches center sixty degree elbow To center of 60 degree, excuse me, elbow. So that'll be for both of them. For C, we need to find <coughs> that guy right there, there's C. And so in order to find that, we're going to be using this dimension here of 6 feet and this dimension here of 26 inches. But we also need this, this 26 inches to figure out what this advance is. And again, looking at that figure 4-5, we find that the formula, when we know what the offset is, which is 26, we multiply it by 0.58. And in this instance, we get this piece here is going to be one foot three and one six. Excuse me, one foot three and one sixteenth of an inch. So when we add that plus the twenty six inches and subtract it from from six, so I did here six minus the advance minus the two foot two right here ends up giving us two foot six and fifteen sixteenths 
center of 60 elbow to center of elbow. C equals two foot six, fifteen sixteenths. Could be wrong. I thought I saw in there somewhere they use two L's for elbow, but I don't know. One L seems to get the point across for me, so I use one. But um, I could be wrong. So anyhow, <coughs> going to uh, number four here. We're looking for D. This guy here. So we know what C is, and for 60 degree fittings. Or offset, we know we find in the book that 0.58 is is what we use for our, our uh, step up, our step ahead. Or is it called step up? One of those. Anyhow, that's what we use to find what the difference is between C and D, and then we we'll subtract that difference from C to get D, right? So, in multiplying that 0.58 times the 10 inch spread. You get 5 and 13 sixteenths. So when you subtract that from C, we get that. That's pretty clear. So 2 foot 1 and 1 eighth inch center of elbow to center of 60 degree elbow. Right. So there you go. And, and if we're going this way, I don't know if. Maybe it would be center of 60 degree elbow to center of elbow. I don't know. Probably need to switch those up if, if we're doing that, if that's something, or probably nothing really. It's probably fine just like that. As long as you have that correct and, and you know what fittings you got on there, you're probably good to go. But again, you can check that with uh, Rocky or Mike. And. Going here to on the five got uh, F. Let's see, so that's over here, and again we need to use that uh, measurement of our step ahead and subtract that from A. That's what we did. Or no, I'm sorry. Need to add that. Looking at that. Excuse me. So we need to add that to that. So there it is. When we add two foot two to five inch, five and thirteen sixteenths of an inch, so we end up with center of elbow to center of sixty degree elbow. Boom. There it is. E plus that makes sense, right? Okay, <clears throat> moving on to this one here. Wants to find the measurement of all these pipes. Well, <clears throat> first off, we start with A and E. He wants to find so A and E. We can go for center to center. These guys are going to be a foot, and C's. Uh, well, I guess C isn't. I don't know if C's a foot. It looks like it is to me. Let's see. Yep, should have been. Anyways, they didn't ask for it. I'm going to say probably is. I was looking at that. That's a foot. And in order to find, let's see. So then we go. Then we go for, for B and D. And we take our nine inch, which would be our offset or advance, and then we multiply that for 45 by uh, 1.414, and that's what we get for B and D. <coughs> Let's 
and for F and J. We're gonna we're gonna use this nine inch spread F and J. Excuse me. We're gonna use this nine inch spread, multiply it by the constant of point four one four, and that's for exclusively for forty five degree angles or offsets, I should say, and we'll get our step, here I got labeled a step up, so anyhow, <coughs> add that dimension to here, what I got right there, so I'm going to punch that in a calculator real quick, 9 times 0.414 It's three and three quarters of an inch. Here's our step up. All right. <clears throat> oh, I had it there. Anyhow, Let's see for F and J. I don't know. Yeah. So. So you have one foot plus the step up. There's your final dimension there for F and J. For G and I, let's take a look at those two are here and here. Excuse me. And for those, it's simply a matter of taking B or D and adding the step up times two. Because it's because there's each fitting is that's their I guess explanation is that each fitting is, is going to need to be pushed out that much. All right. So when you do that, you end up with B plus two times the step up, and that's what we end up with one foot eight and one quarter inch. H, which is there, and we're using C, and again we got, again we'll be using the two step ups, right, for each, one for each side, and that two times that would be seven and a half inches. So one foot plus that. And there's what we got for H. One foot seven and a half inches. There you go. If that comes in for you, there it is. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to go over this one separately so uh, this video doesn't run too long. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know if uh, there's any questions or need to uh, rework any of those problems, figure anything wrong.